The whole reason why Earth is hell is because of all the victims. The abusers never ever have to face any of the consequences that they did barely, barely. They barely have to face all the wrong that they killed mentally killed or victimized and it's totally wrong nothing bad happens to them it, it doesn't make any sense to me you know like if you do bad bad's supposed to happen to you but it doesn't happen for them this is Satan's world they get to do whatever they want whenever they want however they want and that's just the way it is so my god died on that cross for all my narcissist sins against me which were vicious and no one should ever have to suffer there is no sense yeah. Okay, um, my perspective is a little different. My God died for all my narcissist sins. And then my sin, which was hating my abuser. Okay. That one. Okay. So, yeah. I, uh, hate your, you know, that's... But they caused me to do it. But still, I don't want to feel bad and hate them so but they hate all the time <laughs> you know, they're filled with a legion of demons and they just they're they hate all the time and it's really disgusting um, abusers are very very hoggish very very mean just assholes selfish pieces of shit and could care less about any victim there's way too many out there and uh, and the victim has to deal with all the hell that their abuser created into their life uh, they don't have to deal with it we just run around, you know, when they're in a bad mood or something, when they, you know, something didn't go right, they're angry little, spoiled little brats that come back to their victim and they go and torture their victim again. Never ending cycle. History repeats itself, you live in hell because of all the abusers. And because of all the victims. There shouldn't be victims. No one should suffer. Oh, I was going to continue that thought. Yeah. Um, God suffered on the cross for all of my narcissist sins. Okay, that made me sing. All right? And for my hate, basically. But suffering is not, does not prove that you love someone. No one should have to suffer. So it's just really, really bad circumstances that poor people suffer. But there's no love in that. Loving is just giving. And no one I know does that in my life. Except for Susan Chappelle. I mean, I never, no one ever, ever gave to me in the last 30 years. I mean, yeah, really give. I never got anything. Um, I got a tiny, tiny bit of help. I mean, I need, like, a lot more help. I need my teeth out. Number one, that check was stolen in 2016. Hacked off my phone. Everything. 2012, my Facebook hacked up. I mean, I, my life is total hell. I had nothing to do with it. 
It was all my insane abuser's fault. You know, like, working against me the whole time. I never got a chance to do anything. I never got any help. You know? People need help sometimes. You know? Um... It's just horrible to be totally lied about and, you know, like... My life just sucked. And, uh... Yeah, it's... I almost my whole life. Sick of my story. That I, I have to defend myself because of insane manipulating liars who could care less about me and lie all the time they don't even know what love is i love you what the hell are you talking about no way an abuser could ever love you don't treat another human being like that abusers should not treat put death onto their victims. They have no right to do that. To make their victims suffer about that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at a perspective of my Jesus, yet he suffered for their sins of trying to kill me. Trying to make me kill myself. Because that's all the abusers did in my life. You know, I, I didn't have anything to do with my life. Some people are given chances. What chance did I ever have? None. Someone's going to help you out. They're going to help you out. If not, oh wow. It's just the way it is. And life is so hard because this is Satan's world where abusers do whatever the hell they want. And get away with it. And there's no one to help them out. The victim should get money from their abuser. The abuser should be fined. That, that fine comes from the state and is given to the victim. 5000 10000 whatever the amount. Whatever the situation, you know, uh, I don't know. About like 10000 a year. If a, a battered woman or like a kid. How about Aaron Carter's? Late Aaron Carter's parents should, uh, you know, be fined $25 million and be given back to him by their state. Aaron Carter's uh, parents are awful. His, um, man, it would have been better for him to be abused by Michael Jackson and his awful, awful parents. He ripped off every penny. He could have gotten an over job on stage. Had no big deal, late Aaron Carter. What he couldn't get over his horrifying parents that robbed him blind. That's what he couldn't get over. I think he ended up working a horrible job. And it just killed himself, uh, at maybe in his mom's bathroom. What else was he supposed to do? Yeah, like, that's sad. His parents should have been fined at least a million dollars and given it straight to him, and then they had to definitely pay the state back. Or go to jail. And that, there you go, that would be a good way to go. It would have been, went better. I don't know when he died. Uh, I guess recent. I don't know. Five years ago, his parents should have been fine. And he should have been given a million dollars by the state. And then the, the parents have to pay back the state. A million plus the paperwork. And whatever uh, police force that has to uh, keep Aaron Carter's parents away from him. And, you know, if the only abuse he ever got was um, 
It's him stealing money from him. Oh, wow. It's neglect and stealing all his money. Oh. Um, why? Um, my last video, I was talking about mediums. Because I saw this uh, Christian talk show. All right, mediums are good. 